the aisle. And I give the floor for the Commission, our Commissioner Paolo Gentiloni, to take the floor. Yes. Thank you. Uh, well, thank you, Chair, Honourable Members, uh, and thank you for this uh, debate. Um, well, that we will do this together. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Gentiloni. Now uh, we're going to the rapporteurs, and first, uh, Ms. Gardia Zabal Rubial has the floor. For Thank you. Muchas gracias, Presidenta. Señor Comisario, comparto absolutamente las conclusiones eh, que ha hecho sobre el debate que hemos tenido en el Parlamento. Somos conscientes de la urgencia de llegar a este acuerdo y, aunque también compartimos la necesidad de mejorar y de aumentar los recursos, por supuesto que esto no va a ser algo que paralice las negociaciones. Lo importante es que tenemos en nuestra propuesta, hemos encontrado ese equilibrio que tanto necesitamos, así que mañana votaremos y abriremos rápidamente las negociaciones. Gracias. Thank you. Uh, now the floor to Mr. Murasan for uh, EPP and for two minutes, our rapporteur. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madam President. Dear colleagues, thank you very much for the debate. Thank you very much for the constructive spirit tonight and make sure that the governments do repower EU in an inclusive way, involving local regional levels where we're justified and having proper... Third uh, rapporteur from uh, the European Parliament, from the new Mr. Pislaru Dragos has the floor. I will speak in Romanian, uh, Doamna Președinte, Domnule Comisar, dragi colegi. The Power EU nu este un, nu este foarte mult. Thank you, Mr. Pislaru. So, uh, an important file uh, now has the debate closed, and it seems uh, we have an alignment uh, between the Parliament and the Commission. So now the vote will be held tomorrow, and. Adopted. So we move to the resolutions on suspicions of corruption from Qatar and the broader need for transparency and accountability in the European institutions. First, we vote Amendment 23 by roll call. The vote is open. The vote is closed. It has been adopted. And now uh, I would like to give the floor to Mr. Zani to move an oral amendment to paragraph 3. The floor is yours. Grazie, Presidente. In apertura dei lavori lunedì in quest'Aula risuonava una parola pronunciata da tutti, unità, per meglio reagire a uno scandalo senza precedenti. Ebbene, mi spiace constatare che qualcuno sia ancora vittima della propria miope arroganza eh, politica. 
Per questo motivo propongo a nome del Gruppo ID un emendamento orale per cui il paragrafo 3 dovrebbe diventare come il seguente. Sottolinea che la gravità e l'ampiezza delle indagini in corso impongono al Parlamento e alle istituzioni dell'UE di reagire con unità inequivocabile e con ferma determinazione. Riafferma che la propria idea di unità inequivocabile non include tutti i gruppi politici, ovvero i rappresentanti di milioni di cittadini europei. Concludo, Presidente, dicendo che quest'Aula è solo un'altra prova dell'ipocrisia e della meschinità di alcuni in questo Parlamento che si sentono di diritto moralmente superiori anche ora che i recenti gravi fatti li hanno clamorosamente smentiti. Grazie. Thank you very much. Is there any opposition to this oral amendment? If so, I would ask you to stand up. And since there are more than 38 members, please, please, please. Okay. So the oral amendment cannot be taken. Colleagues, colleagues, please. So the oral amendment cannot be taken and we pass to the next vote, which is paragraph three, original text in two parts. First part by show of hands, who is in favor? against abstentions adopted, second part by roll call, the vote is open. The vote is closed and it has been adopted. So colleagues, don't forget your cards. <laughs> The vote is closed. It has been adopted. So since it's the last voting session, let me wish you all Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.